all right you guys it is getting so real out here like seriously now in new york they have a 8 30 curfew so we're going to go to the supermarket and pick up some more items <sighs> this is so ridiculous like I mean, it's not ridiculous. Like, I understand that they're trying to do everything they can to stop the spread of this virus. And, you know, I appreciate their efforts. I'm not sure what the situation is as far as me going to work and different things like that. But if I have to go to work, then, of course, I'm definitely going to go to work because my job requires for me to help the community. And so you know i'm definitely going to work on thursday and friday if that's what i'm required to do but um but yeah so we just want to go get some items zayla she's going to virginia god willing tomorrow and so at least that hopefully will be one last worry because I haven't heard many cases in Virginia. And so, yeah, but I don't know. This is, you know, t t t earlier today I was uh -huh. feeling, you on the phone? Yeah. Um, I was feeling a little down and I was thinking maybe it's because it's your birthday. Maybe because you're getting ready to, you cute, know, get your menstrual cute, or whatever the situation cute. is. And that might be the case. But, yeah. Okay. But anyway, we're on things. our way to the store, so I, eat. <sighs> I will keep you guys updated. And all right, you guys, we are at the food bazaar once again. I know. You, oh, look at that! Look at that back there, you guys. It's so cute. Look at the sunset. Yeah, let's not get it all in. Just get the sky. How beautiful the sky looks when the sun is setting. Just so gorgeous. Just like me. Zayla looking like a gangsta. Gangsta. I look like I'm a part of folk. A part of who? Folk. Like the gang, ma. Don't say that. No, don't. <laughs> Seriously. I'll wear like black hair to Doesn't matter. Hopefully they have some stuff in the, in the food bar. Because we just try to catch this. Right, no. Exactly. And ate well. That's the thing about it. Jeez. No fish? You no salmon? I want a piece of salmon. Or probably the salmon. These ones here. This one? Alright. Yeah, so. Look at the tuna. Tuna. Hey girls. Yeah. You put the rest of the chicken breast in the freezer? Huh? You put the other chicken breast in the freezer? Yeah. And I'm gonna go get me a little fat one. I wanna just make it eventually like how chicken. So you wanna have a what? Some sea bass, but um, the big one, yeah, then it's like, tell me when. No, this is chicken, but look at the prices of this stuff. That's ridiculous. You guys, come on, man, they gotta do better. They gotta do that. Yeah, this is this is like an endless thing that's happening here. 
So I'm not really sure uh, like when this is going to end. But truthfully, people have been doing all the shopping way before all of this. This is New York City, so New York, as we already know, they just don't know how to stay home. We just don't understand the concept and the meaning of that. It's like unbelievable. So here we are every single day. Every single day we are here at the store. Every single day, other people are here at the store as well. So, I mean, it's just, it's at this point, it just is what it is, you know. Oh, babe, I gotta, let me go get some, um, babe, move mine up as you move up. Yeah, I have to move mine right now. I gotta go see. Let me go see about some, oh, excuse me. Um, I don't think they're gonna have it down here. Cause I want to get some some hand soap. I have some here. I have some here. I want to see if they have um maybe some alcohol so I can make my own hand sanitizer. Yeah. This is like, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know what it's like, but. The whole situation just looks very dire. Okay, that's what it looks like. So. Right now I'm looking for some alcohol, which I'm sure there's no more alcohol because just like there's no more of anything else, we're just going to add that to the list of things that the stores just don't have anymore. I might be able to go to the dollar store and find it. So, but these people are running around here like hoarding everything. Like, I just, I don't get it. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. Let's just say that. You know? <sighs> All right, no alcohol. This just never ends. It never ends. Endless. Is that what happened? What did you talk about? Is it still morning? Huh? Good afternoon, you guys. Oh, no. It's, it's still morning. morning. No, it's not. It's 12. It's afternoon now. Is that 12 or 7? You sure? Yeah. It's still morning. Good morning, it's you guys. Hi. How are you guys doing today? No, seriously. <laughs> good afternoon, you guys. They listen to 12 or 7. So, that being said, we have to say good afternoon. It's no more good morning. Like this. I'm going to just use this. But, as my good morning, good afternoon, because the good afternoon just came. So, so Sailor Girl. Is off to VA to, make to go clear. hang out with her padre. So, yes, uh, indeed. I two of my books. So, I, I get to see three. what the atmosphere at the airport is like because I'm ready to book a flight as well. But it's for the future. So, you know. But yeah, so we're heading to LaGuardia Airport and um, she's going to be missed. We're going to miss her for Are still in the supposedly yard? one week that she's going to be out there. You guys, I took a Why shot. Are you supposed to? Well, you guys will see that I took a shot in my previous video, but I took a sh another shot this morning and I'm going to tell you about the shot I took yesterday. Now my throat was hurting. And I was a little bit worried, just a teeny tiny bit. Let me say I wasn't why I wasn't overly worried. It's because 
I've had pneumonia, I've had bronchitis, and so since I've had those things, there's always like a residual effect. And so throughout the years, since I have not had it, I've always had like a tinge of a sore throat just because. And but when I took a shot of the Henny and the Tito's, seriously, like my throat feels a lot better than it felt yesterday. It's still there, but it feels a lot better. And so I took a shot just now. And so hopefully, you know, you know, my cousin Mark, he said that it's, you know, it's good for fighting all types of things. Now, I'm not saying to go out and start drinking. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to tell you guys. And if you're a recovering AA addict or any of that stuff like that, or if you've never drank, don't start. Like, there's other ways that you can go about fighting these certain infections, okay? So, what you can do as well is apple cider vinegar is really, really good. You put some cayenne pepper or some turmeric or some honey or a mixture of all of those and a little bit of water, you trust me, you drink that, you're going to be fine. But I chose to drink the alcohol because it's a bit, you know, it's easier. And I'm not a drinker, so I'm going to be all right. I'm not going to be, you know, up here later on to my, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to my AA meeting. No, I'm not going to be doing all that. Okay, I'm going to be fine. So... And plus my mother, she was like, oh my God, don't start drinking. Don't start drinking. Then she was like, well, let me go get me a bottle. <laughs> so, you guys, I'll say it again. If you don't drink, if you're a recovering addict, you do not have to. That It's not for everybody, okay? Please. So, I'm just telling you guys what has definitely helped me. And that's it. That's it. But anyway... Love you guys. 107.5 WBLS, number one for R&B. with those wipes. You ain't got no wipes on you. Call me, um, when you get on a flight, call me when you get off the flight. Uh, Make sure you be paying attention. Oh, I can? Oh, thank you. Oh, I can walk with you, yeah. I think this is going to be it for me and you. Yeah, because this is the thing right here. Uh -huh. It has to be checked. The guy asked him, he said that it's not going to be checked, and he said, okay. No, you need to go back to the agent because the batteries are not inside like that. Or oversized? Yes. Okay. Huh? Oh, yeah, with this one here, yeah. Oh. All right, so let's go. They should have somewhere in here that you could just check it. Or maybe, I think here, let's go. Well, yeah, this is the same thing. So, 
But you still gotta check, but that's the check in. Oh, I don't know. Oh, well. You still gotta get your back. Yeah. Put in. Oh, you still gotta get your back. Oh, yeah. All right, Zayla so have to get her che her bag checked. You oh, have it. Thing, All right, we're back going through here again. So. Mhm. Mm All right, Zay, so give me a hug, babes. All right, love you. On her way to Richmond, Virginia, and so Mama has some free time, even though she's 17 years old. But still, it feels good when you don't have anyone, anyone at all that you have to be overly concerned about. So, yes, indeed. All right, I thought the door wasn't gonna open for me. Oh, they didn't kick him out yet. Ah, yes, I'm so happy. Do they always have this thing right here? Yeah. That little path? Mm -hmm. No. It's good. Oh, no, 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 Yeah. They just created. Exactly. <sighs> we are over here at Prospect Park. And I must say, are they doing yoga down there? There is a lot of people in this goddamn park. Don't don't get them no money. They don't need no damn money. Send their asses to work. Oh. <laughs> Send them to work. Police. If I gotta go to work tomorrow, send them to work tomorrow. So that's the end of it. Ain't nobody out here sick. Seriously. What's that? What's what's going on? This is just this is just adult hooky days that y'all giving them. And yes, I am being jealous. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I don't care because it's not fair that I have to go to work tomorrow. And that's just the bottom line of it. Look at this. Huh? Right. Tell me, what do you think this is? I mean, they're out here playing ball. They're out here doing yoga. Just all types of stuff. Hello, there's no distances happening here. Son of that. Okay. So, I'm going to have to call the mayor and the governor and let them know what's going on around here. Okay. Just look at this. Too. Time to go home, buddy. Yeah. The guy in the red shoes. <laughs> yeah. Shorts, yeah. No, I'm talking about he's most hacked in his shirt. Yeah. Alright you guys, we're coming up 
We're coming up on our little tree. It doesn't have any leaves on it, but that's our little tree over there, you guys. I think I'm taking a picture of him. So, little tree will be back for you this summer. Yep, that's it right there. They are ready to bloom. They are bloomed.